from Tom Cycle Recycling. Here in Massachusetts, it's the middle of winter, so it's way too cold to ride, but it's a perfect day to do a video. So the plan today is to show you how to remove and replace wheel bearings. And the whole point is to show you how easy it is, how anybody can do it, and how you don't really need any special tools to do it. So let's get at it. So here are the tools that you're going to need for the job. And as you can see, they're pretty ordinary. There's nothing special here. Regular hammer, large screwdriver. I use a piece of hardwood flooring, large socket, chisel, piece of three-quarter inch threaded rod, piece of one-inch black pipe, sledgehammer, and some grease. I have this here just to show you what the professionals use when they're taking wheel bearings out. This is called a blind bearing puller. This is something you buy if you're going to be doing wheel bearings all the time, but you don't need it, and as you can, you're going to see very shortly, it's very simple. The secret weapon is this piece of threaded rod. If you look at the end of it here, I've got a slot ground into it, and it's also going down about an inch. When you see what this is all about, you're going to laugh and realize why you don't need this other tool. Okay, so we've got to remove this seal first. There's one on each side. And sometimes they come out hard, sometimes they come out easy. This one's coming out easy. Don't worry if you damage it, because if you buy a bearing kit, it's going to come with new seals. Get the other side. Now it's time for the secret weapon. You drop the threaded rod down the hole through the bearing. And then you want to tap it so it's flush. And then take the chisel, tap it in even farther so that it's quite a ways below the top surface of the bearing, like so. Now you want to put the chisel in the slot. And you want to jam it in there good. Like so. Sometimes it comes, this works out the first time. We'll see. Should be in there far enough. Take your sledgehammer, whack the other end of the threaded rod. There goes your bearing. It's that easy. As far as the other bearing goes, just flip the wheel over these pieces of hardwood. Get my piece of the pipe that rolled away. Drop it down through the hole, right on top of the bearing, until it's nice and centered. Oh, there it is. It can't be much easier than that. So you don't need that tool. All right, it's time to put the bearings back in. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to reuse the bearings. But normally, I never reuse bearings. So the first thing I like to do is put a little teeny bit of, just a tiny bit of grease on the bearing surface inside here. Another thing I do when I have time, I'll throw the bearings in the freezer the night before. And it'll make a slight amount of difference in getting the, uh, the bearings in a little bit easier. So then you just take the socket and you just rest it against the the hub in the outer edge of the bearing, and just start tapping. And work your way around. You don't want it to go in cockeyed. And once it gets all the way in and it seats, you'll hear a different sound. There it is. It's in. Flip the wheel over. This is the important part. Don't forget to put the spacer back in. Get it in there centered. A little teeny bit more grease here. Get your bearing started. And then just work it in with the socket again. Oh, these bearings are old and worn. So that dropped right in. Normally, you'd have to give it a few solid taps as you go around until it seats. But that's what's involved. Now you just want to put 
new seals in, of course. You just press back in usually. Sometimes you might have to tap them in. But these are worn, so they obviously go in easy. So that's pretty much it. Bearings are back in. So as I mentioned, these are the old bearings. I just used them for the video just to show you how they go in. They went in very, very easily because they're worn. They've been taken out already. So keep that in mind. When you go to put your new bearings in, it's going to take 30 seconds to a minute to tap it in, flip it over, and do the other one. But it's the same process exactly. So there you have it. As I told you, it's an easy job. And hopefully now that you've seen how it's done, you're inspired to go ahead and do it yourself. Thanks for watching the video and hope to see you again soon.